Meta Research has released a new OCR library called Nougat for complex documents. It's giving quite impressive results for scientific documents and scanned books. Okay, so here is an example of input document. As you can see, it's a very old scanned document. Uh, it has lots of these complex symbols and mathematical equations. Okay, and on the right, uh, we see uh, the results, right? It's quite impressive. Uh, again, uh, it is able to extract all the complex uh, 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 math symbols, uh, the equations, um, and the uh, headings, uh, etc. Okay. Uh, there are they have provided number of more examples for example uh, you can check all these here obviously it cannot extract the graphs but both the text equations uh, math symbols and tables it's doing quite an impressive job okay all right and then uh, they also provided a number of research documents uh, as an example so here is the pdf i'll show you this pdf in a minute but uh, we can see the results here okay all right uh, and then another document uh, it's able to extract the title the, the authors uh, uh, pretty much everything right I mean uh, all these uh, look at these complex uh, symbols right all right um, so uh, today we are going to check uh, two documents uh, so the same examples they provided so one is this scanned copy uh, from a book and the second one is this research document so as you can see this document has 11 pages and uh, uh, it has uh, obviously these uh, figures are going to be ignored but uh, these complex mathematical symbols and equations uh, like these and then it also has a couple of tables so here and here so we are going to process these two documents and see uh, how good uh, the results are all right so i'm on my colab environment uh, you can install the library using simple pip nougat ocr or you can install from the source code itself okay uh, all these links i provide in the dis uh, description below all right uh, we are importing this display module uh, to display the results uh, within this ipython notebook now to process any document, all we need to do is uh, simply call Nougat and provide your PDF document and specify the path where uh, we you want to uh, save the outputs. So here I have created a folder called input and we have these two documents, scan copy and the research document and we are storing the results in this output folder. Okay. Now notice that we are not calling this library uh, using Python APIs. We are running it from command line. Okay, uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, it will process this research document and the output will be uh, uh, this markdown or MMD uh, document. Okay, um, all right. Then let's process the scanned copy as well and store the results in the same output folder. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes you might run into an error like this saying uh, skipping pages due to repetitions. Uh, just add this optional argument uh, no skipping uh, that will fix that error okay so we have processed these two documents and stored the results in output folder and then uh, in order to see the results uh, uh, within the notebook just use uh, display latex and then provide your uh, file path okay so this is how it looks like uh, we are going to render this uh, using uh, a latex uh, compiler uh, so that we can uh, see the output okay that's that and then this is the scanned copy all right so after running these two i have downloaded the results uh, to my local system so this is the scan mmd and then uh, the research mmd right i converted them to pdfs as well uh, as you can see here but i will show you how uh, we can generate the pdfs so let me open this document so I copy the content and then uh, go to Overleaf. Uh, it's a online latex uh, compiler, basically which can convert our latex documents uh, into PDFs. 
so this is how it looks like uh, at the core uh, we need at least three elements the document class uh, and then uh, the begin document end document so the generated output you just copy uh, and paste uh, between uh, the begin and end okay all right and then recompile so this is the output generated okay and let me put these two documents side by side so that we can see how good the results are so this is the one uh, we have provided as input and this is the output uh, it's looking quite good um, but uh, the header uh, is not in bold but we have this uh, star star uh, which actually is supposed to render it as a in a bold font uh, and then uh, when we have these italics uh, it's not showing the space and uh, uh, it's messing up uh, a little okay but on their website uh, the results shown are quite accurate right so for example here we have italics uh, but the generated output are still looking good so either facebook uh, or meta they might be providing some optional arguments uh, when running uh, nowgut or they might be post processing uh, the out generated output uh, before creating the pdfs okay but it's still uh, impressive so uh, okay let me go back and let me open the scan sorry one second okay let me minimize this yeah so yeah this is a scanned uh, copy i downloaded from a leaflet so it's looking quite good it, uh, it's looking really good right and then let's look at uh, the output from the research document so this is the one uh, the output and here we have our input document so as we saw before uh, it has some uh, some maths some complex symbols and a couple of tables okay so obviously the formatting is not going to be as exact as uh, in the pdf but it still be able to do a pretty good job of extracting all the text so here is the title and here we have the author names uh, etc and then we have the maths so as i mentioned before it's messing up uh, when we have this italic text but facebook must be post processing it uh, to fix these ones right uh, and then here we have some tables uh, really good uh, exactly as in the input document and another table uh, which also exactly matches with the uh, uh, with the input document okay all right so quick summary uh, it's very simple to use just install the library using pip and in order to use it simply call uh, nowgut from command line provide your input document as well as an output path it will create these mmd documents uh, which uh, you can render uh, into pdf using uh, leaflet uh, or you can have uh, uh, your local version of latex compilers as well. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you very much.